So if you go into another level, this boss is probably is gonna get destroyed. But if not, if it's an endless game, or if you're just gonna keep going in the level after you kill the boss, it can be like just a, a small boss and then you have a bigger boss in the end or whatever, you're gonna end up needing a, a one that is unset boss target. Okay, so let's go back to our BPI, our blueprint interface, and I, I'm gonna click this guy in Control W just to duplicate it, and I'm gonna call this unset boss target. Okay, so this this is just an optional thing, you don't need to do that. Let me save, let's compile, and if I go back to my boss, uh, uh, my character blueprint, I'm going to implement this function, which is an event, basically. And all I have to do now is Control w come here, and actually I don't need boss, I just need to unset it. So let me go back to here and say I don't need that. I just need it to be an event. Save, compile. So now I can just unset it. And by setting it again without anything in there, I'm unsetting that variable. And also, I'm gonna want to pause, right? I'm gonna want to pause my timer. So pause, timer by handle. I don't need to keep doing that check. I don't need that overhead anymore. Okay, so to trigger this, I could use another volume. So in the map, this is my boss trigger, my boss enter trigger. And then here I could create, do exactly the same thing. I'm not going to do it uh, because you already know how to do it. Exactly the same thing when I leave the, the arena with the boss. Uh, I would use another trigger or even implement that into this trigger so that I c it can be reused and trigger this unset boss trigger target. 